On Monday, we had one of the largest events of the year. It was highly anticipated and it does have implications for the crypto industry. In this video, we will briefly touch on WWDC, that is Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference, what they covered in the events. But you guys are a crypto audience and one of the things that I want to go into in this video is what kind of implications this has for the crypto industry. Apple gave us a perfect example of how to target people that might be interested in the metaverse outside of the crypto space. Where in contrast, when Meta tried to do that, it was an epic fail. People thought Zuckerberg just completely bombed it and the company lost billions of dollars in value literally overnight. So we'll get into that a bit more in a minute, but WWDC was pretty cool. I mean, they gave you all of the kind of normal stuff that you expect, all the updates on the operating system, some new stickers and stuff to make text messaging more entertaining. They also introduced a really cool new MacBook Air 15 inch, which is pretty cool. I have always stayed away from the MacBook Airs. One, because I'm a power user on a Mac and this thing seems to be capable for most power users, but also I just thought the 13 and 14 were a little bit too small. So 15 was actually a nice introduction. However, I'm probably still gonna wait for the new M3 to come out later this year. And go for the MacBook Pro, that's just me. And of course, the most anticipated thing of the entire event was Apple's mixed reality, or as they called it, a spatial computing device. They took a much different approach than we saw from Oculus and Meta, where it was all about the metaverse and what could happen in the future and here's how we're gonna live in this world. What Meta did was a bit hard for your average person to digest. It was so far and radically beyond what we're doing today that Meta's stock ended up crumbling quite a bit and Facebook or Meta lost billions of dollars in the overall valuation of the company. So what did Apple do instead? Apple did things like talk about real world use cases that people could easily visualize themselves using this headset in today's environment, whether that was watching entertainment, watching content, videos, IMAX movies, being outside in a metaverse-like environment, although they didn't use the word metaverse not once, but being in a virtual environment where you're watching a movie outside in Yosemite National park or something like that, right? They also talked about office environments, how you can do conferencing. They showed some FaceTime examples. And overall, it was just a good example of what people might want to use this headset for today. The metaverse is something that it seems that the average consumer isn't quite ready for yet. But when Apple brings out a product, a new device, it typically becomes adopted on a large scale, which means this gives us an opportunity to reimagine the metaverse bull run that we had. Think of cornucopias, think of Wilder World, maybe Alluvium. You know, these guys that are building these really great metaverse products, this would be a perfect example of something that would do extremely well in this Apple Vision Pro. And I also watched the review from MKBHD where we talked about actually using the device. And I think one of the most impressive things was just how spot on it was from a user experience. Every single place that you moved your eyes, the eye tracker was absolutely impeccable. Where if there's this heads up display here, where if I see a bunch of different icons, if I look at anywhere in this virtual environment, the tracker knows exactly where my eyes are looking. And that is the kind of tracker that you normally would use with your mouse. And if you want to click on something, you just do this. Or if you want to scroll through pages, you just do this, scroll up, or you want to catch things, throw them away. And this gives us a little bit of a feeling like Tony Stark and Iron Man, where they were able to do this whole virtual environment. And that seems to be coming. But you guys are a crypto audience. And one of the things that I want to go into in this video is what kind of implications this has for the crypto industry. I also am going to go into in just a bit what Master Ventures, our company, has been looking at from a metaverse virtual reality, augmented reality perspective when it comes down to investments and where we've placed a few bets strategically based on specifically our thesis around this device from Apple actually being able to capture a large amount of market share. But how does this relate to crypto? Well, we do know that there's some issues with crypto applications in the iOS store and that kind of friction or barrier of entry for these games and different types of projects that would do well in an environment like this, a virtual environment. And so there's a couple of projects that we've invested into or that we're advising that actually have killer games already ready to go VR ready and are working really hard to make sure that they're amongst some of the first games fully functional within the environment that this Apple Vision Pro has built, meaning that you're not using 
handheld devices like Oculus that, you know, these kind of physical devices that sit in your hand, you're using just only gestures and hand movements and speech to do everything. So this means that if anyone's been building VR with the intent of having controllers, they have to reimagine the way that they're doing that. But that's okay, they have time. That's why Apple announced this product today in June and still has another six to eight, nine months before it actually gets in the hands of consumers. That gives developers quite a while to adapt and adjust anything that they've built for an antiquated or otherwise one of the other systems to make it adapted for this device. Okay, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. I was really excited by this device. I am a tech nerd, so this kind of stuff appeals to me. I will probably buy this device when it comes out. Also, we'll probably be in a bull market then, so good news is probably gonna be a lot more affordable for all of us in crypto when the time it actually launches. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Will we be in a bull market? Is this a cool device? Does it suck? Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I'll catch you guys in the next one.